Alright, so I am doing a analysis video of wins versus blank that happened at Genoma Level 2018 in Canada. It's Ontario specifically, but uh, wins, he is a Toon Lane player from upstate New York. And then there's blank, who is a Sheik player from southern Florida. Uh, these two actually fought before at um, SmashCon 2017, where Wins won it. So that was good on him. Um, but yeah, we'll see what happens this time. I, I actually also played Blank at Frostbite, and I beat her, and then gave her a little advice on the matchup, because from what I know, it was a matchup she struggled with and doesn't have much practice in, so we'll see what happens. Oh, uh, wait, hold on. I'm going to play a little music in the background one sec. There we go. Uh, oh, I made it a little too loud, I think. I don't want it, like, too loud, because... Yeah. <laughs> so you may, like, barely hear it. Um, actually, I'll move that a little bit more. Yeah, that's good. Okay. So, yeah. Um, judging by the length of the video, it's gonna be... It's probably gonna be one-sided for the most part. We'll see. But yeah, Sheik is a matchup I am pretty comfortable in. So, I'll see if I'll be able to give any any helpful info. Uh, so we're starting Smashville. I, I enjoy this stage, even against Sheik. Because normally, all oh, people call it Sheikville. But I usually don't care about fighting Sheiks on Smashville. Unless it's like... Um, Unless it's blank. Wait, did I? Wait, did I start Smash Bros. Plus blank? I don't know. But usually, like the high level sheiks, I, I don't mind it. Actually, no. Yeah, blank is a pretty technical sheik. So I'm pre in my set, I'm pretty sure I didn't start Smash Bros. Because I was fine with, as long as I got rid of, FD and Lilat, I was fine. Um, but yeah, but uh, when starting off on Smash Bros. Here, I'm really hoping he doesn't get Sheikville. Because I mean, like I said, Smash Bros. Is a strong stage. For Toon Link, but it's also strong for Sheik. But we'll see what happens. Okay, yeah, right away, you like, at zero, you can like rarely get on hit bomb follow ups, unless like you're right on top and get bomb up till. Other than that, like, there's a decent chance, or unless it's a floaty. But Sheik will be able to, uh, will be able to land quickly and shield that in there. So if it was like Peach, or something like that, Peach Rosa, whatever you can you can throw in a quick nair. Um, but yeah, she was able to shield it. Doesn't get don't need to get punished for it though. But going back in neutral. Okay, yeah. So like approaching there is always gonna be a risky, risky as fuck option, just because like. An opponent will make it, like a decent opponent will, at least someone with someone knowledge in the matchup will know that shielding is a good option versus two link. Because generally, generally they will not go for grabs. Let me go, they should go for grabs, but they know that two links will not get much off grabs. And it's a decently risk, not really much reward option. So that's why shielding is decent. Which is why um, the approaching there is what gets him punished here. So... Yeah, he was fine with the boomerang, like got it, got her to the corner, but as soon as as soon as like she saw like the going towards, she's like, I'm just gonna shield, and if he's airs, I'll be able to get grab. Oh, <laughs> he came just in time, dude. I know you probably <laughs> wins in chat right now. I know you probably like you said you like had nerves and whatnot, which is understandable, and you probably like, um, <laughs> what's it called. Um, what am I trying to say? You probably like know already know some of the stuff that you did wrong, but uh, right. So yeah, obviously like approaching with a move like there, it will be a risky option. So you get down though. Do you get foot? Okay, I don't even think like she can really get those footstool combos on Toon Link. At least like other characters have tried like stuff like that, like footstool combos like like that, like Lucas's. Like I don't rarely ever get footstool comboed. You just got outplayed pretty badly. Honestly, do you feel going here, going to Smashville for game one was a factor? Because like I said, I know, um, 
I know Smash Bros. is good for tuning, but I am, like, hesitant on going here against, like, the higher level Sheiks, just because, uh, not even just Sheiksville stuff, because, like, they play on it so much, they know, like, how to work around the platform really well, and they could keep us at ledge really well because of it if they wanted to, which is why I'm pretty, like, I'm, yeah, I'm pretty sure we started on, uh, Town City. And what's weird, and I'm pretty positive in my set first point, I banned a while at. Because I really didn't feel like playing a lot of that. And then she took me to FD instead of Smashville, which was interesting. But, well, I'm just going to keep playing. Yeah, yeah, I guess those couple fairs get you at ledge. Uh, she just stays shielding there. Like, she she was like, All right, go ahead, I know you're not going to break it. Oh, you didn't get the second hit there. That might have been helpful. Okay, up till, don't get punched. Barely, like, was out of uh, F till range, which is good. Okay, yeah, um, oh, gosh, Sheik is so fast out of shield that even, like, even, like, retreating bear on shield is, it was, it, even that, like, you were still able to get punished for that. That's, Sheik is so fast, man, that's crazy. Uh, yeah, so, and also another thing to note that Sheik has to, this is more just, like, on the, on the matchup itself, but Sheik has to jump after doing the forward throw to land FL Bouncing Fish. If she tries regularly, then we'll be able to, like, she'll, like, just fish under us and we'll be able to, like, jump up. As long as we're not, like, DIing down. But yeah, she gets the fish there. Ding, 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 ding. I'm not seeing... Where are these... Where are the items, Wins? Where, where are the bombs? Where are the bombs? I see you... Look, look, I see you guys in neutral right here. Look, look, come on. Yeah, you get bared, you get photo fished. So like, you like, we're like reset, right? You hit, you hit it with a boomerang, you get hit by needles. Where's the bomb? That's right, where's the, where's the damn bomb? Also, is the music too loud? Let me know if it is. Dude, I bombed the shit out of her in our set, honestly. That was probably like the move I, I like, I used that like probably just as much, much as every other move combined. <laughs> But yeah, like, even though you're behind in percent, it's she's not necessarily in the lead. You can still force her to approach you, in a way. And, like, pressure her from a good distance. But, like, like you get the roll in, you do a short hop, retreating bear to try to, like, bait her. And then you just... You, you, do, you do it again. You do it... And it's, like, it's not even, like the best of options at lower percent because like you could get like Zare to grab maybe but uh, other than that I don't I don't see it as I'm trying to get like on the right frame I don't see it being like a good option especially against a jumpy as hell I didn't even Zare that much honestly just like I Zare mainly like on her landings like when like um or ma mainly when I'm landing from when she's trying to like shark me but in neutral not really but yeah she's just going to do, do chic things and just jump over you land fair to fish yep uh, and, and she hit you out the 69% so you are <laughs> but yeah now she got you at ledge you got a bomb in hand let's see if if I were you I would wait I would wait a bit and then roll from ledge to try to have the bomb blow uh, wait hold on how long has how long is was the bomb out for uh, yeah I would wait here for like about a second and then roll from ledge where hopefully the bomb would blow up as you're rolling and if it didn't which I don't I don't think it would but if she like reacted and grabbed you then by the time she threw you, the bomb would blow up, and you would at least get something out of it and out and away from the ledge. So let's see what you do. But I, po, po, yeah, part of me thought you were gonna drop down, jump, throw the bomb, and you got stuffed up by the nair, and you pretty much reset. And what you traded the same amount of percent? Oh no, she she get, no, you got okay, you got extra percent, even though it really doesn't matter. I'm just more playing. And I also don't really like the drop down, jump from ledge options. When I another thing I did when I played her, I just straight up jump from ledge a lot, and she really didn't do anything about it except like 
like literally towards the end of game two, she called it out once with with a uh, with a sh short hop up air, which didn't even kill me at like one thirty five, <laughs> with some rage too. So it was like, like I don't know, I I I did like jumping from ledge versus her, because like the first game I got away with it a lot. So I was like, fuck it, I'll just keep going. But okay, like she she fucks up the um, what she fucks up the short hop, right? Let's see. Yeah, she full hops instead. Okay, you, you didn't get both hits in the air. But, alright. Alright. You have her shielding after you land when she thinks like she's gonna like get hit by an aerial. What is this? Why are you putting yourself back at the ledge? I, I hope you're still here watching this. Huh? <laughs> I know you, like I said, I know you probably know what you did wrong, but like... Okay, I know, I'm changing this song because this is not appropriate. <laughs> I don't really need three days grace right now. Uh, it just goes right back to more. Um, I right, right, fall out boy. Why not? Um, so you just, yeah, you just put yourself back at ledge. If if you're able to reset neutral from this position, I will be like impressed without without taking much damage. But I don't see that happening. Okay, you get hit by... Yeah, you get hit by a fair fish, and you're right back off stage. Pull a bomb. Okay, um... Yeah. I guess that was just... I guess... I feel like that was just a panic... <laughs> I, yeah, there's a bit of a panic bomb throw. Just because, like, she wasn't at the ledge. So, like, she really couldn't have immediately called you out from jumping the ledge so I would have held on to the bomb for a scenario for this scenario but she catches you with a double jump there what? I'm not like I'm not liking these okay all right, you didn't get punished there but I'm not liking the drop down jump from ledge okay you didn't get punished for that thank god uh... <laughs> Okay, so you get punished there. You, you, I okay, that's another thing. That's the thing about me. I rarely get up attack from ledge. I so kudos to you. But what do we got here? Alright, you air dodge after the photo, even though you DI'd away, which like I know you really like best thing you could have done is like just get to ledge quicker. I like I know it was scary that like you could have got bouncing fish, but like you were you were fine here, but I know it's just more of a panic thing. Obviously, it shows in the next five seconds that it was a panic thing. All right, you try to punish, do not get it, and then try to try to try to narrow in the landing. You get hit by an F, F till, and you're, you're you even though like you're back on stage, you're still like in that panic mode where it's like oh shit, like she could kill me, and you air dodge. Where'd she go? Boom. Because she knew that, like, because you missed the punish last time, that she felt like you weren't gonna like punish it, that punish it the second time she went for it. Like whenever I'm in those 50-50 scenarios, like nine times out of ten, I will jump, because I I feel like just sheiks a lot of times go for that um, vanish, especially on floaties. At least, and or like. Yeah, no, there was definitely a scenario where she F-tilted me, and I just jumped, and she, like, wanted to wait for something. And then she just went back and landed, and we reset. So, she called you, she called you slipping, and you, you pooped because of it. <laughs> alright, so, alright, alright, there we go, there we go, you get in percent. Uh, you were doing well. You were doing so well with that se little sequence. Until, here. The times, the times I told the, that you before approached was there, and you got punished for it. This would be like the perfect time to to do to do this there. Literally, like this range, you're both landing, so it will beat out her fair, her nair, whatever. But instead, oh wait, wait, instead, you pull out this dinky little arrow that she literally just. Swats with her damn hand and hits you because of it. 
Like, like I said, though, like, I feel like you, you just picked the wrong, like, the, it, it was just, at least this game alone, you just picked the wrong options, but when you knew, when it was a simple answer for the, for those wrong options. Like, like, approaching with Zare at the wrong time and not using Zare at the right time, like, yeah. But you get called out here, here we go, yada yada, yeah, you, air dodge, you just want to get out of it, you do. Uh, well, let me, let me, I'm sorry, let me play that again. Oh, no, not that. Okay. I, I feel, I feel like that reverse boomerang was a missing point. I, that, I mean, that happens, honestly, when you're trying to, like, do a turnaround option. Okay, roll through the needles. I, yeah. Like, I know you, I, I don't know about the double roll. Like, again, you wanted to, like, get behind her. At least you're at the range where you won't get hit by f tilt. But, oh, yeah, quick, I, was that power shield on? Oh, okay, I don't know, but dash, dash tech out of shield is a very quick burst option, so she got that. Okay, all that coverage, she didn't even land the fish, but she's still, still covered. Get you at ledge. Never, oh, let's see. Okay. Uh, I, I like that. I like the wall jump there. I I I, I do like that. Uh, she called out your jump there, of course. I rare I rarely get called out with fair from jumping from ledge. Honestly, it's weird. Okay, yeah, you tried to go for the zare there. Um, well, let me go back in. Two kingdom ruling castles. All right. Jump from ledge, get a call with the fair. Bob, Bob, the bomb helps you out there, so that's good. Uh, you fair the shield, put a little pressure. She gets back to ledge to try to reset the scenario. You get the wall jump air, putting more pressure. I guess she thought you, because she noticed you were retreating before from bear, she thought, oh, maybe it's gonna retreat back to ledge. I'm gonna try to punish, and you're able to get backstage control, but. Okay, no, never mind. I didn't. I, I, thought, you, I thought you went back to ledge, but that was my bad. Alright, uh, so you. Putting in, put in more pressure on the shield, for, get her to drop shield, or we get poked with, through the, for the uh, jab. Now you get her a ledge, but then smash her platform, of course, helping out the Sheik. Alright, so now she's above you. This is where I want to see you throwing shit at her. Especially bomb. Alright, you threw the bomb forward. I'm not sure if that was a missing point. Dun -dun 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 Alright. I, like, I'm so bad at these analysis just because, like, I get a little distracted and then, like, have to, like, go back, like, from time to time. All right. In general, I just want to see more bombs. <laughs> in, the, in all honesty. I've seen, like, maybe, like, three or something like that. At least, I've, I've seen not enough. All right. So, you get called out fair. All right, we're back in neutral. This is where I want to see you, like, run back a little bit. Pull a bomb, or even stand right there. Pull a bomb. Oh well, she threw needles. Okay, but like even still, just have a bomb in your hand. Um, which you do right here, which is good. Alright. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I don't know if this was the nerves coming in, or I, I feel like that was you trying to run through her, and then throw it on the from her back. But the shield, the shield thing happened where it didn't let you run through, and then you just end up throwing it away. And then the pa and then panic up, panic up tilts. Or I guess that was you buffering, wanting to get the bomb up tilt, hoping she would drop shield as you ran past her. Okay. All right, jab, jab, down tilt, near. Yeah, I. Uh, yeah. This is where I want to see bombs, pretty much. Like boomerang and boomerang and Zara ain't cutting it. Uh, you were hope you were just you were just hoping she would drop shield. This is this is where she knows that like you're throwing out these panic options because like of how far you're behind. But like, I like really don't get nervous in these scenarios. I like usually against Sheik, I try to play the same way throughout the whole match because I know I can bring it back. I know I can live until 150. I'm pre I'm pretty sure in my silver point I lived that until like 155. My first stock of uh, game two. So I know I can bring it back. I know, I yeah, I know I am able to. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right you, again, you air dot. Uh, yeah. She called you slip in there. 
She I, like, yeah, she wasn't gonna go for vanish every time out of it. Alright. <laughs> That's a weird frame for too long. Alright, but see tech here, get F tilted. Goes with the vanish, but she doesn't she doesn't jump forward enough with it. So you're able to dodge it. Alright, let's see. Uh, see, like, okay. Hmm. I think Zare would have been good here, but, like, I I don't know if this is you, but there are times where I will air dodge and then try to Zare after, and I get another air dodge, and it's pretty annoying. <laughs> so, let's see. Alright, yeah, it really wasn't much you could do here to, like, as, as at least punish wise. So. And then she, all right. You, you. I mean, the jump should have came out there after that second F tilt. But like, you just, you just let him, let her hit you with the double jump fish. You live though. You're living. All right. Uh, up smash out of shield. Especially because it was. Cause like the end lag on it puts her literally right there, so it would catch like it it would catch the nair. It would ca it would probably catch if she tried to jump out of it. But yeah, you drop shield like a little too late, get hit by the nair. Now you're back at ledge, and it's just not looking good. I like those arrows in that scenario. So throw at least a little bit of pressure, get more percent. Uh, miss the back air there. Oh oh. Uh, okay yeah. Again, dude, drop down jump from ledge is a blessing and a curse, but more of a curse if anything. I swear, like that is like the ledge, like a ledge, the ledge option that gets me killed the most. So, cause she knew, like even like, uh, did you even like neutral, just neutral get up from ledge? I don't think so. I think it was either drop down from ledge, a couple times jump or get up attack, but it seemed like the drop down jump was the most common option, and she knew she was able to cover that, so. That's exactly what she did. Dang. Yeah. That's how it be sometimes. She could just oppress the heck out of you, but yeah. You know, look deep in. Yeah. So you're thinking like, alright, I need to I need to not not go in with Zares. I need to not drop down jump wet so much. I got this. And then mm-hmm. You don't look. You don't look like you're letting it get to you. So that's obviously a good. That's obviously a good thing. That's like another thing. If like people, like visible visually show them getting frustrated or annoyed, that's just that's just more. That's just good for your opponent to like be like, okay, like he's getting annoyed, so I'm just gonna keep doing that. But you don't show. You don't show, let. You don't let anything show. So that's good. All right, where do we go here? Alright, uh, she probably banned Battlefield, so I want to see Town. If I see FD or Lila, or if I don't see, pretty much if I don't see Town, I'm going to get annoyed. Okay, alright, good, good, good. Thank you, thank you. There was, I've heard two links before say they like take Sheiks to FD, and I'm just like, why? <laughs> like, yes, I, I fought her on FD and did fine, but usually that stage is just eh for the matchup. But run into town, which is good. It helps you both out. But the platform, I want to, I, I want to see more items now that you have this stage. You have the platforms. You have the ability to let her chase you more, to for, to have her chase you. All right, I already uh, start with the up tilt on shield and the bomb. All right. Okay. Yeah. Hmm, okay. So, let's, let's, find, let's rewind that back. Alright, Nair. I'll be fair, fair grab, follow throw, gets the fish. So, obviously she still has her jump. So, I feel like the best option in this scenario would just to be drop down from either pull an item or drop down from the platform. Because jump back here wouldn't have gotten you and she really wouldn't have hit you with anything else. But, you got baited by thinking you could punish the end lag of the fish. I'm guessing, and then she just stuffs you out hard with the bear. 
So already down 50%, not looking good. Uh. All right, so shoot the arrow. The Womp. Uh, yeah. Bomb pulls and disadvantage is is a no-no. But every, every Toon Link is accustomed to it, so it, it just happens. But when you have to... I think the no I know is um, I think like okay if I use my double jump and I'm not like at least two characters if I don't have to for if I if I jump and pull a bomb right near her her where she doesn't have to double jump to punish me then it's bad <laughs> pretty much because you short hop pull it and she's literally able to just short hop fair you into fish and now you're at ledge and it's not looking good uh yeah, she's She's just getting all the right. She's just pu putting in the oppression, at in, at the correct times. Let me go back. Yeah. All right. Okay. So right here, she has to jump back, land on stage. I want to see you get back to center stage. And you sort of do that here. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. You're able to dodge you up there. Good. I want to see you. This is what I want to see you here now. I want to see you here. Resetting because you can easily still. Dude, I was down like ninety percent, and she was at zero. And in like five seconds, with one up tilt and a bomb, I tied it up. And a bomb and a bomb up smash, I tied it up. So this deficit means nothing to now, right now. But. You try to punish her. Which I understand. Because you were like, hey, you want to get some percent. But I would much rather just leave her at zero and reset neutral to avoid the risk of easily being put back off stage like this. So, like, any time I can just reset for Sheik, I do. Even if it looks like it's reset, I, like, make sure it is. That, like, we're both... On the ground, she's charging needles. I'm pulling a bond bomb reset, and I ch and like I just don't make it a habit to try to punish Sheik's end lag because because of her just her mobility and fast ass aerials. I just know shit like that will happen, and I'll barely miss, and I will eat like thirty plus percent to be put back on ledge because of it. And it, and, I'll, and like I'll be thinking to myself, was it worth it to go for? It? No, because what did I, what did I want? Like nine percent. Where if you reset, you could have got a bomb. You could have got that to bomb up tilt. Could have got turned that into like forty five percent, and then try to like sh shark her landing, get another up smash up there, boom, tie game. It's just knowing when it's right to go in and when it isn't. But right here, you get ba Baron bouncing fish. You don't see that often. At least I I don't personally. But yeah, now she's got your ledge ledge. All right. Okay, like I know you 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 have her at the ledge now. You want to put in the pressure, but there's only so much you can do when she, especially when she's at zero. You can't even if you land an up tilt, you can't even continue the up tilt because she's at zero. Actually, we have slight rage, so I, I don't know the exact percent of rage where you could get up tilts from zero, but I don't think that I don't, I feel like she'd be able to fast fall shield. And, and then what? And then even, so, like I said, like I would like to have the stage control again, because if I don't, if I don't have this, like, not stage control, but if I just don't reset, stuff like this will happen. Like, because she's at ledge, of course she's going to shield. If anything, I would have F-Smash here, honestly. Or at least F-Smash 1, and then seeing how weak the shield was, and then make a decision from there because of the delay you could do with it. So, you back air... You throw in the up tilt, you, you want to hit her. You want to hit her. I would, like, right there, like, when you did, after you did the up tilt, I would have, like, at least F smash one. Because it would have, like, it would have stuffed her if she tried dash grabbing. And it might have even been able to catch jump out of shield too. Which I guess you were trying to call out the jump fair with a jump back air. But, well, hmm. 
I remember in the other game, you did jump bear on shield and retreated with it. Yes, you got punished for it. But my question is, why would you short hop bear on a shield? Why would you short hop bear on a shield? Hit the shield, but then continue to go to ledge. You 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 switched advantage. You 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 had your like slight advantage state of having a ledge. Uh, this is you. You, you. you have slight advantage, and you're like, you know what? Uh, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try that again. I wanna see, see if I could do more while being oppressed at the ledge. Here you go, and you just gave her the station control again. And yeah, granted, you didn't get put that much that time, but you didn't gain anything from that, literally, because she's still at zero. Alright. Mm. Yeah, this this is this comes to the point where like you just want to get percent, so you're just throwing you're you're hoping to get like catch a bomb on the landing, get an up smash. But it just uh, she gets the bomb and grab as the bomb blows up, full of throw. Mmm Yeah. <laughs> I hope <laughs> Damn. Yeah. Oh god, that's that's a that's a odd frame. Yeah, no, it just looks like, I don't even want to say she just oppressed you. I feel like you just put yourself at the ledge too many times instead of just resetting. Like, like it honestly just looked like she was in advantage state for like 85% of that entire the frame of my life. <laughs> yeah, she caught you. Yeah, you DI'd in. She caught that. Wait a second. Mood. <laughs> mood as this is mood when I fight Cloud. But yes. Yeah, it's what will happen. She'll just take advantage of any opportunity she has. And now now she's feeling it. Not only did she like go ham last game, she's going even more ham. She's probably gonna go for a footstool combo or some shit. <laughs> Like like I did when I was feeling myself versus her. I dev I so like after I took the first dog, I was hella feeling myself. And she I get her to like I like f fall down, throw the bomb down, and get up tilt. I do two up tilts and I do footstool dare just because. Like I'm like, alright, you're the footstooler. No, I'm the footstool. Just 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 to like send a message. So it was if it, it was nice, but yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, there's... Hmm. See, I see. I have not gotten hit by that. I I only played blank in a few friendlies, but nonetheless, you could hella drift this, so... And I even if, if you just drift either way, I'm pretty sure she can't get you. But, yeah, you've reacted a little too late. Like, as soon as you see the down throw, that's, like, especially against blank, that's what, she, that's what she's gonna go for. That's definitely what she can go for, so... Yeah... Yeah, she's. Oh, good. wins, 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 win, win. Please. All right. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, there's just this, I I I hundred percent know you could do better than this. I hundred percent know you can. Obviously, there are circumstances, but. I'm hoping if you two cross paths again, hell, maybe at high, <laughs> we're all gonna it would be a high, at high real saga. If you run her back, I will, I will coach you. I will be, I will be like, I, right, I will tell you what to do. I will be standing there. I, I got you. But like, like I said, you've been her before. I'm sure you know what to do. It was just one of those sets. Oh, yeah. <laughs> if you got that there, she might have died. <laughs> if you, especially if she didn't have a jump. Yeah, if she reacted earlier, she might have been able to get that bear and might have looked bad for your boy. But if if you did the dare faster from the ledge jump, you might have been able to get that. But I feel like she still would have like magnet handed back. I, I if I was in that position, I would have dead ass went for another dare just to try to two frame. Cause it's like at that point, it's like what the fuck. 
But, yeah, here we go. Alright. Why is this the first time I've seen this scenario this entire set? Where you where you get her to ledge, you throw throw a projectile, pull a bomb, and just and just wait. You, you didn't you didn't approach see the choices you were making at this moment were better than like a more than 50% of them that you made of the first game and the first talk of this game. Okay. Wow, uh, I guess he was going for a hard read by wins. No, you wanted the boomerang and you didn't. Do you get? Okay, she just wait. Okay, she she missed the punish, but she still gets F till fair. Yeah, I know that was supposed to be boomerang. I I get that shit. The only time I misinput that is when I'm off stage and don't have a jump. I swear it's the fucking worst. But anyway, yeah, she missed the punish, but you you try to get. Dude, her shit is so fast and like no one lag. I hate it. <laughs> Even though I still like Sheik, but still. Like fighting Sheik at least. Alright, now here come the panic air dodges, the panic aerials. Alright, alright, uh, you didn't you like uh, that was a patient wall jump, but you didn't get anything on the landing. Yeah, if that was a little bit of a slow of a wall jump, literally gave her more than enough time to just wait and and just react. Mmm. Yeah, it was, yeah. I'm just glad I didn't let her do any of this shit on me. I'm sorry, but like, you don't have to air dodge after F throw, my dude. I know it was more the fear and the panic coming in, but it's just, yeah, you got cucked. Poor, poor Mako. She was like, yes. My run back. But now it's your turn to get the run back next time, alright? Alright. But yeah, that's just the definition of what Sheik can do in the matchup, pretty much. But like I said, a lot of like those scenarios were because of just poor decisions. But I'm sure you'll be you'll do better next time. I'm confident.